Aquarius, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. Congratulations! We are at 2,000 subscribers here. I will be going live tomorrow, which is Friday, to um, <clears throat> do donations for answers and to choose a winner for a free reading. Um... Now, for this one, we're going to do an energy check-in. You can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross-watchers are also welcome here. Okay, please make sure you like the video. Drop a comment below if it resonates. Check out the playlist. If you like it here, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Um, so you can be notified when I upload a video. You're returning here. Hey! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> Click the description box below to visit my website if you want to book a personal reading. You can also make sure you check out the community board because that information, I'm always updating the community board. And we offer full E5 services, life coaching, spiritual coaching, and classes. So check us out online. All right. Let's go. All right, you got the nine of cups, you got the ten of swords, and you got the fool in reverse, okay? You got the nine of pentacles in reverse, okay. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, so we're going to dive right into this. You got the high priestess in reverse and the devil in reverse, okay? So there's an attachment breaking with somebody that is like a, a, a like demonic energy, lower vibrational energy, um, someone that's not aligning with their higher self. This could be a warlock here uh, with this high priestess in reverse, this could be someone that's just mean. And there is an attachment that you're breaking free from when it comes to this individual. You're breaking this tie. Yeah. Four of Wands in reverse. You're like, no, this is not rendering me the, the success I need, the stability that I need in this situation. You're not accepting any more apologies. You're moving on, moving forward. Um, Gemini reading. Check Gemini reading on the other page. It was similar to this. King of Pentacles, you're moving forward to a King of Pentacles. This person is, is serious about you. Yeah, this person not out there with everybody else. Yeah, you gonna yeah, okay. You're gonna be real happy. So basically, it's like you had to make a decision. But what I'm hearing is like you already made a decision about this person, but you were still going through like the test, right? So you know when you like you you like oh yeah I'm done with that I'm not I'm not dealing with that and spirit like okay no problem great you know live your life and then you know this person bend the block and then spirit like you know let's see what you gonna do how you gonna respond so I feel like you know you could have you could have passed the test when they bend the, when they bent the block right or they about to right or if they already did you was like yeah no that's that's just not it right that's not it I'm going I'm going for it I'm moving so like. This could be somebody, this is how you know who this is. Somebody that you were almost always given to. Somebody that you were so open to. Somebody that you were like, even though y'all not together or even though y'all not talking or y'all done separated, you know, when they call, you like putty in their hands. You know what I'm saying? You always gave off that energy, whether you said it with your mouth, but your pheromones said, oh, I want you so bad. And they knew it. So they were like, oh, I can always bend the block with Aquarius. That person. They bend the block, and you like, yeah, no, I'm good. Your whole energy's changed. Your demeanor changed. You know, your pheromones on off. You know what I'm saying? That was the test. That was what you needed to do to get to where you are right now. Okay. That's, you know, like, okay, are you seriously done? You know, a lot of y'all be like, I'm, I'm SG, I'm done. SG, I don't care about that no more. SG, I done turned that off. But then spirit come back and test you, and you be like, well, this person did come back and, you know, maybe that's meaning something. And you go back down. You know what I'm saying? You go back down that cycle and spirit like, ah, you ain't ready yet. You know? So you are pushing and prolonging your mission. Whoever you are, whatever group this is that just passed this test for the one test that you've been failing, you are, you are progressing. Okay. 
Let's clarify the Nine of Cups for the collective of Aquarius. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, very impatient. You want what you want. Seven of Cups. Knight of, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, I just gave y'all this whole dang on story. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Wands in the food card. Yeah, man. I just gave y'all this whole story. Your wish fulfillment is like you want wish fulfillment. You want emotional fulfillment, emotional bliss. But at the same time, you're not having patience, right? Because you have so many options. So you could be out here like, okay, I want emotional bliss. And you out here dating and, you know, da da, -da and, and doing what you're doing, you know, going through your options, you know, being slow. But that one person, here they go right here. This Knight of Pentacles. This one person turn around and bends the block on you. They bend the block. Hey, Aquarius. <laughs> hey, hey, Aquarius. What, you know what you're doing? You know, da da. Now you're searching for this emotional bliss. You're searching for this emotional fulfillment. You haven't found it yet. But you remember how your feelings were with this person. This is how they always get you. This don't be this person. This be your spirit guys testing you about this person. Let me send them back in, right? Because this is the this is the door that had to be closed. So this one person slide back in there with an offer, you know? Come, you know, <laughs> once or twice and you what what's up? You know, <laughs> what what we gonna do? Let's let's link up, man. Let's let's talk about this. Let's, you know, all of the sweet nothings and garbage. Because you know the situation isn't for you and you always be like, okay, you know, this person can be, you know, like, 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 how do we fix this? How do we get grounded? How do we get stability? You know, how do we, you know, they saying the things that you want to hear. And because you want this emotional fulfillment already and you ain't found it out there, you on go. But the test is not that you are, you don't deserve love. It's for you to close the door on the situation that's no longer working for you. Okay. <laughs> You're losing patience. Like, 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 man, listen, this spiritual journey, man, I tell you no lie. Whew. It's, all, it's, it's like everything that's created is created from something, right? So games, like video games. This is like a whole game and you have to make decisions based upon, you know, love, comfortability and all these things. And it's like, ah, <laughs> the hardest decisions you make be the best decisions for you because whether it be in love or in another part of your life, it helps you catapult to different levels, right? Don't think that people that you admire and you look that are in certain ranks, they are there because they got lucky. No, man. No, there are some people that got lucky, but the people like, like, like us that really do the work, like that really, really do the work and take it serious? Oh no, boy. I'm talking about I I to me I feel like I don't have no luck at all. Right? Everything I got I had to work hard for. And so th this is what you gotta know. Like <laughs> this person <laughs> run. Okay, so you know, like you 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 know, you kept going back. You kept, you know, you kept going back. Could be an age difference between you and this person as well. You just kept going back to this person. Okay, let's clarify the Ten of Swords for the collective of Aquarius. All right. So the world card. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's different now. It hit a little different. Some of y'all been really watching the videos and paying attention to the videos. It's hitting different now. I'm proud of y'all. Okay? I'm proud of y'all. Now, some of y'all, y'all got children with this person. <laughs> Others of y'all, y'all both got, you know, prominent positions in life and people that look up to you and people that really, you know, rock with you. Ten of Swords, you've been betrayed enough. You done been back and forth enough. Okay? It's, it's time to cut it out. You don't trust the situation. It's not going to align. How many times you done went back to still not get what you wanted? You know what I'm saying? And you, it, it, didn't, it didn't take you long to realize you weren't getting what you wanted. That was easy. World card. The cycle is over. 
Now that the cycle is over, now that you finally said, ah, I figured it out, I'm not going back. It's more so like you, you're you wanting emotional fulfillment, and even though you have feelings for somebody, you know that it's not going to be emotional fulfillment, so you're like, uh-uh-uh, new love is coming in. Possibly your wife. You could possibly be somebody's wife or husband, queen of cups. Something something very serious is coming in for you, Aquarius. Going to new levels, going to new heights. Seven of Pentacles. Right? Carefully thinking about, someone's carefully thinking about what they truly want and where they're going and ending a cycle. This is no more. Somebody's cutting off a soul tie. Somebody's cutting off a connection here. That's why it's like, yep, nope, that's not it. <laughs> like, like you done got into your slide momentum, right? Oh, you you know, when they come and they ain't right, you just slide. This is how you is with this person. All right. So now you're there. Good job. Let's see. Let's see. The fool in reverse for the click of Aquarius. Yeah, I'm craving pizza so bad. I'm, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to be a Pizza Hut type of day for me, honey. I'm craving pizza horribly. Nine of Wands. Ah, Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh-huh. Strength. And the Emperor here again. Okay, by default, Aquarius, your masculine energy, but this could be you, your person. Death card and the cherry card at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so bound to have success. Six of Wands here. Right, so an ending for a new beginning. Emotional fulfillment, emotional success, determined to have success. You're taking action. You're going to be successful. You're taking action to what it is. <clears throat> because you did not <clears throat> start over. You didn't take a blind leap of faith and go do something that you know wasn't going to work for you. This particular individual, um, either this person could be doing it because you got the Knight of Wands with the Queen of Wands in reverse. My Queen of Wands card, you already know what that is. That's my Juju card, Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody sitting Juju your way, okay? But whatever it is that they were doing, okay, like this person could be tied to somebody and, and this person that they're tied to, like sending Juju to make sure like this person don't come back to you or this person is sending juju to you you know what i'm saying but you were strong and you were able to move past it and you're stepping into your ashe you know your emperor energy you're not you're not worried about this so it's like all of these things that they tried to do to you because you wasn't coming back to them but they weren't right for you or were not right for you not trying to do right for you but you still winning it's your winning season let's clarify the nine of pentacles in reverse for the pentacles of aquarius Somebody here is like a bitter, a bitter, bitter. You ended something with somebody, like officially. This was not easy. So again, congratulations. This was not easy. Mm -hmm. Look, nine of pentacles in reverse. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Okay, what's happening? All right. Ten of wands. Five of Cups and the Page of Um Come on. Five of Cups and the Page of Wands. Alright, so somebody looking real stupid right now. Tyra moment, an ending to a situation. Yeah. Tyra moment. This ending. Somebody's walking away. Things have been illuminated. It's just not what I need. Right? Somebody has a spiritual enlightenment on what they need to do. You don't have to act the way you just know that you can't go that way. Somebody here that it's like they they may look like they are very independent in the public eye because maybe they're liked by many or something like that. But this person is extremely codependent. And this is why this person wanted to stay in energy. This this individual is, is very codependent here. Um you know, the more bills you create, like this I was telling somebody this other day, you can make a lot of money. But with that money comes responsibility, right? Because that's how you're going to succeed. You continue to create the responsibility, you know what I'm saying, and continue to grow and build. And therefore, you're going to make, you know, the money. But as you make the money, you also are going to spend the money and have these bills. So someone looks like, ha, they got a lot of money, but they don't. You know what I'm saying? And so this thing isn't coming together when it, when it comes to them 
Or maybe this person was using your energy or needed your energy to get them where they needed to be financially uh, to where they feel like they had the solid understanding and, 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 and they were going to be okay. And that's not happening. So they're very burdened because they got a lot of weight on their shoulders. They do miss you. They, they keep looking back at what they had. I feel like if you, this person is going to reach out to you, this person is going to say something to you. Hey, you know, or what's up or something like that. Like, let's chill or something. If they haven't already, this person is going to reach out to you again. Like, let me try. Let me try. No, stick to your guns, Aquarius. <laughs> stick to your guns, Aquarius. Let this go. You know, it's not for you. This is your ultimate test. Continue to walk it down. No, no, no. Keep it moving, Aqua. Yeah, this this is not like you got something something that's gonna blow your mind. That's right here at this door. <laughs> just start practicing. No, <laughs> just just be like no 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 no. <laughs> All right, yeah yeah, I love y'all rock with you, but yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> Don't even get in your head and think about it, right? Like I say, when you're manifesting, if you have one inkling of doubt, like, how am I going to get it? You messing up your manifestation, right? If this person reach out, you, reach out to you, you just like, no, but I wonder if. Don't even think about it, Aquarius. Nope, nope, nope. They've been in the block. <laughs> like, I wish this person would just leave me alone. Congratulations on getting over this. This was not easy. All right. I'm proud of you. I'm real proud of you. Let me know. Let me know if you've already went through this or you feel it coming on in the comments. Angel of strength, right? The number 50, number five, despondence. Right. So you got to be strong for your kids or something that you want with it. But baby, I can't make this up. Baby, you got blossoming abundance and happy family here. Three and four, four and three, however it resonates. I can't make it up. Something is changing in your life because you did destiny. It's in your destiny. Something is going to be absolutely perfect for you and this particular individual. It's going to come together and do what it needs to do. I'm proud of you. Okay. Congratulations on that. Right. How was your day? Good. You sound like you stopped up. Go take your shoe off upstairs. Can upstairs. I, can I take this? Give it here. Let me let me get one squig and then you can have it. Jeez, you don't let me have nothing. Hmm. It's in your destiny for you to get this. It's in your destiny for you to live in a moment of perfection. That means cutting off any thoughts of being with this person, cutting off any... You didn't even speak to the cat. Now she mad. Cutting off any feeling of thinking that this is your person or something should work out. Like, mm-mm. Let me pull from this one. Mm-mm, Aqua. Y'all finna... It, look, it's there. It's in the cards. You are in control of what you're doing. Y'all be coming home so dirty. Water don't make you dirty. All right, Aquarius. I'm doing something. Go upstairs. No. All right, you have approachable and available. Beware of narcissistic behavior. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna pull from another one because what did nothing really want to talk from that one? Let me see. Let me see. Let me just pull from this one. Yeah, man, this some big about to happen.
What in the? No. <laughs> One more spin. Because it was some cards that wanted to pop out that couldn't come out. <laughs> what in the? What in the? Yeah, now this we're talking. Okay. So. <laughs> uh yeah so past life soulmate you've had many past lives together all right divine masculine energy is here now you could have had um you could have had many past lives with the person that you are going back and forth with yeah um so so you felt as though this connection was superior you didn't expect what it was here unexpected People, events, messages, and travel. Yeah, it's completion. You didn't expect this completion with this person, but there was some deception here. Um, someone was holding information or not being honest here. Um, what spirit is saying for you to forgive, right? Forgiveness is a liberating choice. You can forgive, but, you know, keep on moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, external party, karmic contracts, family, finances, and other material concerns or responsibilities are causes of interference and stress. So... There's other things that was happening that allowed this person to reject you, but it's okay. It is not you, so don't reject yourself. The rejection is divine intervention. So you got rejected from this person because they were supposed to, but this person seems to not be able to let you go because they do feel the soul tide that's here, okay? Um, lessons from Neptune, right? Now, we know. <laughs> the planet of Neptune... <laughs> Oh my God, why are they so loud? Pisces energy. Okay, Neptune is about illusions. Denial, illusion, and deception of self or by another. Self-love, boundaries, and attachment are important. Like, you seen what it was, but you just felt as though you was going to get a different outcome. Okay? And so, <clears throat> this is why this was so hard to, you know, be able to, to, to happen for you. But perseverance, Right? We're going to let this go. And we're going to push forward because there is the love that we truly want, need, and deserve out there. But we won't get it until we let this go. This is why this is so big for you finally letting this go. Because why? You have new love. New love or new phase in love is beginning. Okay? You're you're really investing your all into a situation. Right? Renew. A return of, pa of passion and play. Community is healing. Laughter, travel, and new things can respark your love life. Heart chakra, awaken your heart center and love, love in. So don't hold on to what you have been going through. And for my people that's out there that's like, I'm ready and, 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 and I'm not holding on. Listen, that thing gave you the same reading, confirmation all over again. You're not ready. Okay? It don't make it fit if it's not there. If you still holding on to somebody from your past that you feel like you can't let go, and you ain't had that interaction where you had no feelings there and you, uh, yeah, I'm good. No, we don't need to have no long conversations. Keeping that shit short, walking off, or getting off the phone. If you're not there, it's okay. But this is for my people that done did the work. This didn't, they didn't just get there because they decided, ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to be there and they there overnight. This takes work. So this is for my people that did the work. You've cut this person off. You've let it go. You've eliminated this toxic situation. There's a new situation that is either in your life right now or it's coming into your life that is about to blow your mind. And it's going to be all of the things that you want, need, and deserve. I'm happy. Congratulations, y'all. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. It ain't easy, but it's beautiful. I shame.